And as a hunter, we're, I'm always looking for the next perfect day in the weather forecast. And if you follow my blogs, follow my videos, follow my books even, then you'll notice that I'm always talking about the weather. And I even have a weather book and a weather hunting book coming out uh, later this month. And to me, the weather doesn't let you down. Um, and for that, we're always looking for that next forecast to the point when it gets to the end of the season, we're getting into early January, and the season ended last year in, in Wisconsin, January 7th, I'm pulling up the weather on my phone and still looking at it in AccuWeather, looking at that 72-hour wind forecast, the changing conditions. I'm pulling up weather underground to look at the change in barometric pressure, looking for temp drops. And I realize at the end of the season, the season's over, and it's almost kind of depressing for that first two or three weeks after the season ends because I'm always watching this. I'm always following it because it hasn't led me wrong for, well, since the early 90s. So that perfect weather day, when you look at a 45-day forecast, and of course the weather's changing drastically as those days progress, but in that 45-day forecast, you might have six, seven, eight, nine really high-quality days. We actually have a perfect day coming up. Now we had a close to perfect day a couple weeks ago and the difference was is that hunting by weather, the moon phase, we had a full moon rising and in the evening that diminishes the value of that evening sit, but it also increases the value of the next morning sit. Um, deer feed five times in a 24 hour period. I believe that full moon pushes up the feedings at night, makes it so the deer are really hammering the food sources all night. It's a relaxed, bright, low stress atmosphere and for that they don't feed as much at daybreak and then later in the morning it's a good feeding so that's a good opportunity with the moves the moon now what's great about this thursday coming up and then i'm looking at the lacrosse wisconsin forecast and we're at the zip stop right here in westby wisconsin it used to be the central express we've been coming here since 2002 and you can imagine with all my friends and all the hunting we've done out here, and this is when I used to drive here, now I live around the area, but I used to drive seven hours. We've had so much planning at these tables right here for where we're sitting over the next three days, two days, when's a good time to sit. Boy, we wish we were here next Wednesday after we're going home, but we're always looking for that next perfect day. And that perfect day is this Thursday around here. There's a 20 degree temperature drop from Wednesday to Thursday. Wednesday is forecasted to have thunder, thunder showers, thunderstorms, a high of 77. So a really, not to say you couldn't shoot a buck that day, but it's not a great day. And so Monday, today, it's raining, windy, winds are gonna increase, thunder and lightning, temperature drop. We have a new moon, so it's a dark moon rising in the evening, which is a great time for hunting, great opportunity for hunting. Um, so extreme weather changes, temperature changes, the barometric pressure is rising. You see in this graph right here, the temperatures are going down, the pressure is coming up, very sharp meeting on Thursday. This same forecast is gonna transfer over to Michigan. All my fellow hunters and brothers of hunting, they're all hunting opening day in October 1st in Michigan, my home state. So I hope you guys are having a great day today. But this weather is gonna be over to you tomorrow, on uh, Friday and then over to Pennsylvania and over into New York a couple days after, you know, towards Saturday, Friday evening. So this weather pattern will follow through. It's a perfect opportunity for many reasons. Keep looking for that perfect opportunity. And the great thing is, this just isn't a perfect weather opportunity for this week. There's gonna be perfect days like this all season long. I find them every seven to 10 days. So know what you're looking for. Don't miss out. Even if you can just get an evening to hunt, it's going to be a great evening to hunt on Thursday, maybe even a Friday morning. And, uh, and I'll start hitting those mornings a lot closer into the rut and uh, look for the conditions. I do all season long. It hasn't steered me wrong for decades. I have a book coming out about it. And look for these conditions in your area and you're going to have a great hunt. I look forward to hearing back about it. And you can find these same conditions and I encourage you to learn these conditions all season long.